my hand. But I said, I'm going to end this over, end this over. I'm going to Israel at this on your end this over. I see the place where they say for legends. I was raised by you idolize them until you stare across the octagon at them. You could not have asked for anything bigger outside of a title shot. You get the GOAT. You get the greatest middleweight the UFC has ever seen. Anderson's come back to fight for two years. I don't have nothing to prove. I'm very happy. People talk, oh, this is the, your clone and blah, blah, blah. But it's not. It's completely different. I'm about to do what I'm going to do to blow past all that comparison. It is what it is. Right now, I just have Anderson Silva in front of me. I just want to get him out the way so I can progress and be on my way. Oh! Israel Adesanya! When a fight is started, people say, oh, okay, it's not the same. It's not the Anderson clone. But it's completely different. is a goat, but I'm Nigerian. I've been eating goat meat since I was a kid. This is normal to me. It's normal. Just because I'm a fan doesn't mean I can't catch these hands. Ovation from the Aussies as Anderson Silva makes the walk for his 23rd UFC appearance. And if any fan base deserved an opportunity to watch this man compete live before he hangs him up, it is certainly this one. We have witnessed his greatness for the better part of two decades. And according to Anderson Silva, he is not done yet. You know, when you talk to Anderson, we talk to Anderson, and you heard him, I said, why are you still here, man? You've done everything in the sport you could do. You're playing, oh, you got your kids, you got everything you could ever want. Why, what is your drive? Well, the more you get into it, the only reason he's here is for his fans. That is it. And for the people that have watched him compete in this sport, even the athletes like Adesanya, he continues to compete for somebody like Adesanya to show that it can be done. For somebody like me to show that you can still compete no matter how old you are. Anderson Silva competes to show that it can be done and to show everybody who's a fan of him that they can do whatever they want. And that's why he continues. Tonight's prep point is brought to you by Tab. Who are you backing? So Anderson Silva, after embracing Donald Cowboy Cerrone, has an embrace for his corner men. And this is a guy whose credentials you truly run out of time to set up. Began his UFC career 16-0. That 16-fight winning streak is still a UFC record. He reigned the middleweight division from 2006 to 2013. His last performance at UFC 208, close fight against Derek Brunson. It went his way by unanimous decision. And some were surprised that he accepted this matchup without Asanya. If you know the man, if you know the fighter, you weren't surprised at all. No, exactly what you just said, Anik. Anderson Silva's okay for everybody. He wants to fight everybody. He says no to nobody.
So Anderson Silva making his first appearance here in Australia. He's got his spider kick gym going strong in California, has a satellite location in Brazil as well. Has a huge emphasis on recovery and physical therapy. He has never trained smarter. We'll see what Anderson Silva has left in a matter of moments as he tries to hand the last style bender his first professional loss as an MMA fighter. debut and a career as Israel Adesanya. He has lived up to that hype and then some had to clear some fight week adversity Monday and Tuesday. But Adesanya, all systems go here tonight. And this man is a quote machine. He has said Anderson Silva is a guy who tries to lower your guard mentally during fight week without you knowing. Adesanya said he hopes he pulls guard here tonight. He can find out what my top game is like. Most people believe these guys are going to stand in exchange on the feet, and I cannot wait to watch it. There's no doubt they're going to stand on the feet, and it's just a matter of time till we see what actually happens in these matchups, and are they going to come together? Is Anderson Silva going to try to make it as grimy as he can by going to the tie clinch, looking for underhooks? Is Anderson Silva going to pull guard? Is he going to take a shot because he's uncomfortable on his feet? Is Adesanya going to have a hard time finding him? There's so many questions in this matchup. That's why everybody is here to watch it. Can Anderson Silva kill still compete at this age against an extremely dynamic, fast striker like Israel Adesanya, who's got a K-1 kickboxing background and faced some of the best men on planet Earth. We're about to find out. Well, one of the more interested observers of this fight over my left shoulder right now is the number four ranked contender, Kelvin Gastelum, with a belt over his shoulder. He's going to watch the last style banner show here, fifth UFC appearance for Adesanya. And there is a live shot of Kelvin Gastelum Outstanding cardio, killer instinct, but very patient. Hits you with all limbs. He's got the mind and body ready to go tonight. Israel Adesanya, 15-0, as he draws the legend Anderson Silva. This tale to tape is brought to you by Air Asia. Now everyone can fly. Adesanya, 29. Anderson Silva will be 44 in April. Adesanya, the taller man by two inches. He will have a three-inch edge in reach. With that, to get us the introductions for our main event, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Victoria Sports and Combat Board. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Garth Harriman, Charlie Keach, and Albert Chen. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This bout is sponsored by Air Asia. Now everyone can fly. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Rod Labor Arena in Melbourne, Australia. It's time! Three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a big martial artist holding professional record. 34 wins, 8 losses, 1 no contest. He stands 
six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds, fighting at Akira Chiba Parada, Brazil, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion, Anderson the Spider Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter holding an undefeated professional record. 15 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand, by way of Lagos, Nigeria, presenting the number six ranked middleweight contender in the world, Israel, the last dial bender, Adesanya! All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You're gonna keep it clean. Touch gloves and let's do it. Here we go, folks. Israel Adesanya putting that 15 0 record on the line tonight against the future UFC Hall of Famer Anderson Silva. I think Adesanya pleasantly surprised that Silva is still fighting as Adesanya. Enters his fighting prime. He'll be 30 years old in July. And we are underway. Israel Adesanya is in black. Anderson Silva is in yellow. Anderson Silva, Southpaw. See which weapons are going to get fired first. I'd look for an inside kick. Probably is what I'm thinking. Outside kick of Adesanya first. Adesanya very deceptive with his movement and his footwork constantly in motion and switching stances. But never in a rush, as he told us. I don't pray and hope, I aim and fire. I'm just trying to touch the opponent. If you watch Anderson, he's always taking his time in the very beginning of the fight. First minute or two, he makes all the reads on timing, range, what weapons you're trying to use, what you're setting up. And then he starts letting go later. We'll find out if he gets that option with Israel. Most of Adesanya's UFC competition has tried to take him down, Don. That is not the expectation tonight, but you just never know. That's what we're hoping for, but he also said that he's looking to stay busy and make Anderson Silva work. People don't make him work hard enough. They don't keep throwing on him enough. And uh, so far, just a lot of flash, not too much work yet. Very aggressive schedule for Israel Adesanya as he attacks that lead leg of Anderson Silva. Four UFC fights in 2018 and getting right after it here early 2019. Silva's first strike lands. Adesanya with eyes fixed on the target, presses forward. Trying to get Anderson to look at his legs first and then let his hands go soon after. But watch that hook kick. That kick that he just threw right there is one of Adesanya's best kicks. He makes it look like it's gonna go to the body or low and then it flips over the top of your defense. Called a question mark kick, and he's very good with it. And he gets you thinking about a bunch of other things before he lands it. Two minutes off the round one clock. Anderson's so good at keeping the fight at his pace. I mean, it's been two minutes, and there's been almost nothing thrown already. Adesanya trying to get a beat on his opponent here. Silva ready to counter at all times. See, there's that question mark kick that I was talking about. And he's getting Anderson to fight on the feints. He fakes, 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 fakes. And now Anderson's chasing. And Adesanya touched Silva with the right oh, hand. He's hurt. He's, he's hurt. There. That hurt him. Put his, he needs his hands up. That got a slight wobble out of Silva. Big right hand now from Adesanya. And now an elbow and a knee for good measure. I'd like to see Anderson get his hands up and get the pressure going. His right hand, the punches are landing, and he's reaching for the hand instead of bringing his hands up to his face in, in Anderson. Adesanya is now starting to get that read. Inside leg kick lands with authority for Adesanya. Two minutes now to go round one. The feints are the difference. Adesanya's faking, he's faking, and Anderson's just staring. And now he's chasing, he landed one. Can't chase Israel though, he's gotta be Stop. careful with the chasing. Over my. Over my. 
fight. Herb Dean just checking to make sure both fighters had their mouthpieces in. They do, and we trudge on. I think a little slobber just got knocked out. Body kick from Silva lands under the right elbow of Adesanya. One thing I don't like Anderson's doing is reaching for the hands. Can't reach with Adesanya because the kick comes out of nowhere if you start reaching for his hands. More feints from Anderson would help. Ooh, Ooh. big right hands landing. And the showmanship out of Silva. Crowd totally engaged here, four minutes in. See, he's biting on the feints, and that's the issue. Adesanya fakes, Anderson's biting, so he needs to fire or feint first. Nice kick to the, t nice teep to the knee of Adesanya to keep the space where he wants it. Watch that hook kick, it's coming soon, he's looking for it. That's what he's trying to set up in Adesanya. So to try to navigate distance, is able to avoid that left kick. Just barely, says Adesanya. And that's how much you always miss by when both these guys, you try to kick them, you gotta set it up. It's called throwing an empty kick, and that's why they're able to lean on it. Now, he doesn't want to run after Adesanya, because that's when you make, you got the power. You hear the oohs and ahs every time Silva advances, final 10 seconds of the round. Good left hand by Adesanya. Those punches are landing when he switches stance. He's coming with the straight punches. Ooh, a couple late left hands, and Silva just able to duck under that left kick. Five minutes down. Tonight's quarter cam is brought to you by Hudson Shipping. Shipping innovation. Breathe. Breathe. Sit down. Sit down, Anderson. I'm good. I'm good. You want water? There you go. Pay attention. You have to hit him. Throw, hey, you, your punch landed. He, he, throw your back in. Keep faking the jab. He's marking your right. You're waiting too long. He respected you. Right here, we can see a big right hand land after a fake of a knee, and then an elbow. And then another knee, not super heavy shot, but just enough. And here we see a left hand land to a right straight, get Adesanya on his heels, and then that right hook just misses. Can't be chasing Adesanya, he needs to head him off. UFC 234, Adesanya versus Silva is presented by Tad. Who are you backing? Can Adesanya out on hand here, Rod Laver Arena. Go ahead, Dom. Sorry about that, Anik. Adesanya is getting real, playing that showmanship. You usually see. Spider Anderson Silva doing that to people. Now we're seeing Adesanya give him a taste of his own medicine with the showmanship. He landed partially there for Anderson Silva. Part of the message in his corner, they feel like that right hand will be there. Landed it a couple times in round one. Oh, oh big yeah. counter right hook. And that's what you gotta watch out for when you go first on Anderson. He's a good counter striker. But also, Anderson's corner saying he needs to go first. He's waiting a little too long, and I kind of agree with that. He needs to be first a little bit more on Adesanya in this round. Adesanya back orthodox now. Silva tries a kick, partially blocked by Israel. Israel faking a lot. That's what's really good about what he's doing right now. He's always showing something different. Fake, fake, fake. Anderson's kind of staring in the mirror, waiting. He needs to be first if I'm Anderson. There it is. Adesanya continues to attack that lead leg of Silva. Oh! Silva with the guard completely lowered. Eats the one-two. We saw that with Weidman, and it didn't go so well. Let's keep that guard up from Anderson Silva. Nobody wants to eat punches. That was a different defense. You see how he yep. defended that yep. leg kick? That's different. He just turned and gave the hamstring, but it kind of like makes the leg go up, up the leg instead of pumping into the muscle. That was interesting. I like Sonya that. bit on the fake there. Silva unable to capitalize. Big left hand lands for Adesanya. And now the boxing's getting through of Adesanya because his hands are down. 
Ooh, good counter right by Silva. That right hand has been Silva's best weapon tonight. And right now, what would really help out Asanya is some combinations from either of these guys' combinations. They're both throwing one flashy strike at a time. It's landing, though. Both these guys. There it is. There's a combination, and now it's landing. And this is what Anderson needs to do. Make it ugly, get in the underhooks, get in the pocket, create some elbows, create some knees. Fighting like that, being first, is how Anderson can be successful. Adesanya forced to clinch for a second. Now a buckling leg kick from Israel. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Silva closing a plus 350 underdog. Again, Adesanya attacks the lower body as we show you these significant strikes landed. Adesanya doubling up on the former middleweight champ. Nice, they both landed one twos. Ooh, the nice. jab right in the eye. And that one got into, yeah, the left yep. eye of Adesanya. That one got into his eye, kind of poked him a little. And Anderson being first, keeping the pressure. Keep those hands up if you're careful if you're Anderson. Right here is when you can be dangerous and putting Israel up against the fence, keeping it here is exactly what Anderson needs to do. Keep it ugly, keep the pressure moving forward on Israel. Very nice. Adesanya I like the, is still patient, excuse me. I like the guard of Anderson right now, but I don't like him eating his shots with his hands down, can't get too cocky. Yeah, not necessarily the fighter you want to showboat against, nifty little heel, spinning kick. And he's been landing those all night. Those are nice, they hurt. Well, those expecting this to be a whitewash, we are getting a fight. Left hand lands partially for Silva. This is absolutely a fight, and I think Israel knows it too. Still, don't blink, because these guys are seconds away. They're just missing by inches, and they're both making reads on the finished shot. Less than a minute now to go here in round two. Adesanya resets. Talk about a chess match, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, they're staring at each other. Faints would really help. You see the total strikes advantage Adesanya in round one and two, but far tighter here in this second round. Adesanya still just edging out Anderson on the strike count. And that's what we were saying coming in. Anderson needs to throw his, bring his strike count up a little bit because that's the one thing Israel does well is he keeps a high strike count. And here we are seeing Anderson get after it. Oh. That's what he needs to do. Make it ugly, get grimy, be first. And that's what we're seeing here. Silva now connects to the body. Final 10 seconds of the round. Spinning attack from Silva, nothing doing. We got a fight, five minutes to go. Right here, we're gonna see Adesanya land a one-two down the middle. Anderson just say, oh, you got me, but I'm going to make it seem like nothing. And then one, two by Anderson here. Then he follows it up, squares up, right hand, a nice jab by Anderson from the southpaw stance. Right jab, down the middle. Dance your dance, bro. Your rhythm, your rhythm. My rhythm. The wall drill? The wall drill, yeah. Boom. Side to side, side to side. Fake the jab, fake the jab, and then jab. Fake the jab, use a lot of feints. You gotta use feints. Well, a lot of fans gotta be sitting home wishing this was maybe a five rounder, but of course, this originally was gonna be the co main event. So the contracts were signed for a three round fight. This is our third and final round. Realistically, this is exactly what fans wanted. Now let's see if they pick up the pace in this third. I have a feeling we're going to see Israel throw a lot more in this third round to try to get the finish and establish it. And I am no judge, but could very well be 1-1 heading into this third and final round. I, I believe I'm hearing Silva chance here in Melbourne. A lot of people wonder what the crowd split would be like. Ooh, Ooh, that hurt, that hurt. That did hurt. Don't think it didn't, ladies and gentlemen. Anderson's good at pretending like nothing, but it hurts. <laughs> Showmanship, that's what he does to people. He gets you thinking, gets you talking. 
Adesanya forced to retreat. <laughs> Silva attempts the flying knee and unable to land. Now Adesanya right back in his face and swelling underneath that right eye of Silva. Silva almost perceivably keeping his back up against the ropes if it was a boxing match. Just kind of chilling, waiting. See, looking for the counter. Well, that right eye of Silva blew up quickly. Yeah, he's been he's been eating some left hands from the southpaw Adesanya, but right now Adesanya is cool with just faking. Say, come on, I'm right here. And he's saying, come on, I'm right here. Come get me. I ain't going anywhere. And Adesanya obliges Silva, moves over to the fence. And my guys, I say, this is called staring in the mirror. What Adesanya needs to do here is fake, 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 fake. Keep the fakes going, and then it, Silva can't read when he goes. But if he just stares at him, it's speed for speed, read for read. Fakes break that apart. Perhaps Silva looking to force a clinch situation here. Adesanya staying composed. Just over three minutes to go. Back to the center of the octagon we go. Adesanya continues to work that lower half of Anderson Silva. He's setting up that right high, that right high kick that he's got from the southpaw stance. That's why he keeps kicking the leg of Anderson. He's gonna go high towards the end of the round. I have a feeling. But kick the low, kick the low, and then go left high kick. There it is. Silva's defense is there as Adesanya attempts the question mark kick. Leg strike starting to pile up for the last style bender. 21 leg kicks for Adesanya, and that's the difference maker, the strikes. He's throwing a little bit more. He's more offensive than Anderson. Anderson's keeping it, keeping him, keeping him shy though by countering at the right times. He ate that one. Still like to see Anderson's guard up. I mean, how cool is this watching Anderson Silva go strike for strike with this man? Yeah. 20 years age older. Under two minutes now to decide this one. And Adesanya just looking amazing. He is. He's doing everything right. And it's not easy fighting Anderson Silva. He's clipping him from the outside with that left. And that's why it's swung up the eye of Silva. Well, Silva has put in a lot of good work in advance of this fight here tonight. You see the round three total strikes. A four to one edge for Adesanya. What's interesting is, if you watch this, I mean, this shows you how much you gotta wrestle and mix in wrestling with Anderson Silva, otherwise he could strike at anybody, strike for strike. You mix in some takedowns, it breaks up the rhythm of the striking, and that's what we haven't seen Adesanya do, which usually is what helps people out-edge Anderson Silva. That's what DC did, that's what certain people who beat him did, they take him down. Adesanya's going strike for strike, and now this has gone the distance, and it's been a very close fight as a result. Last minute of our main event, Adesanya rips the body once more. Ooh, nice. Pin. Good right high kick. Switch to oh. southpaw and switch. But I like to see him keep his hands up and stop eating these punches. He needs to go first because he's eating more than Adesanya. And now Silva returns fire with a kick. That's how you know Anderson's having fun, though. When you're eating shots and you're okay with it, you're literally in the fight having fun. And he just backed up Adesanya. 30 seconds. With a stiff jab. 30 seconds now to go. Some flashes coming soon. Sanya digs those toes into the body. They exchange spinning techniques. Neither party able to land. Final 10 seconds of the fight. What a fight. Breaking it down all the way to the end. Awesome match. What a striking match turned in by Israel Adesanya and Anderson Silva. And so much respect from one man to another. And Anderson Silva, at 43 years old, able to extend Israel Adesanya the full 15 minutes here tonight. Silva showing his appreciation to Adesanya for the fight. A lot of people believe at some point Israel Adesanya will have that middleweight belt firmly around his waist. Of course, Robert Whitaker, Kelvin Gastelum, and the rest are going to have a whole lot to say about that. But tonight belongs to those two men.
Israel Adesanya, and they soon to be UFC Hall of Famer Anderson Silva. This fight replay brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. And as we see here, I mean, Adesanya gets Anderson Silva chasing him, but Anderson's able to land too. I mean, he doesn't land quite as much as Israel, but he goes strike for strike, and he sees everything, dodging the kicks, moving back, being able to play the showmanship with Adesanya. I mean, you really did see a mirror match in this fight, and it was very fun. Nice right hand gets Adesanya back. He says, no, that didn't hurt, but it did. And we see Anderson eat a three-piece. He says, that doesn't hurt, but it did. We see a leg kick land. He acts like it hurt, and it doesn't. <laughs> These guys just faking the whole time. And then we see a lot of hugs in the end, a share of respect. And that's what makes this sport so awesome. There's always respect at the end of these fights. I mean, that's one of the many reasons why a lot of us believe this is the greatest sport in the world. Great showcase for the young talent, Israel Adesanya and Anderson Silva, showing you there's still plenty of fight left in the dog. All right, one final time tonight, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 30-27, and 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Israel Velasco Bender of Estonia. We will speak to both men, but what a moment between two of the best mixed martial artists in the world, but the man of the...